So here we are again with another question on diligence theorem and uh, here we have to again verify diligence theorem for this circuit. So we have to find out the branch currents then we will find out which circuit elements are absorbing power which are supplying power then find out the net power for this circuit total power. So first we have to redraw the circuit okay. Okay, 10 ohm, this is 5 ohm, then this is 6 ampere, 10 ohm, 5 ohm, and this is 2 ohm, this is Four ohm. This is three ampere. So now let us assign the current directions to these uh, resistors, these branches. Okay. So first, let us say this is I one. Then let's say this is I2 okay then let's say this is I3 then let's say this is I4 and like that then there are two nodes so we have to assign two node voltages say this is V1 this node and this node is V2 the voltage this is ground so we have to apply KCL at two nodes one and two so KCL at node one so that is here I1 is flowing away from the node I2 is flowing away from the node 6 ampere is flowing away from the node I3 is also flowing away from the node so all of them will be in one direction I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus 6 is equal to 0 okay now I1 is V1 by 10 then I2 is V1 by 5 then I3 is V1 minus V2 by 2 V1 minus V2 by 2 plus 6 is equal to 0 that implies v1 by 10 plus v1 by 5 plus v1 by 2 minus v2 by 2 is equal to minus 6 that implies taking 10 as the LCM it is V1 plus 2V1 plus 5V1 minus 5V2 is equal to minus 6 that implies eight V1 minus 5V2 is equal to minus 60 so this is the first equation you have to solve these equations involving two variables v1 and v2 to find out their values so this is the first equation for node 1 then kcl at node 2 we have to apply so kcl at node 2 here I4 is flowing away from the node 6 ampere is flowing towards the node I3 is flowing towards the node 3 ampere is flowing towards the node only I4 is flowing away so it will be I3 plus 6 plus 3 is equal to I4 okay 
this will be I3 plus 6 plus 3 is equal to I4. That implies I3 is equal to V1 minus V2 by 2 again. So I am not going into detail how I am getting these equations because I have already discussed about nodal analysis. We have discussed a lot of problems related to it. So higher potential minus lower potential point divided by the resistor connected in between. Plus 6 plus 3 is 9. I4 is V2 by 4. Okay. That implies V1 by 2 minus V2 by 2 minus V2 by 4 is equal to minus 9. That implies taking 4 as common here is 2V1 minus 2V2 minus V2 is equal to minus 9. That implies 2v1 minus 3v2 is equal to minus 36. Okay. So, this is the second equation. Now, we have to solve these two equations to find out v1 and v2. So, here we have the first equation 8 V1 minus 5 V2 is equal to minus 60. Here we have the second equation 2 V1 minus 3 V2 is equal to minus 36. So, here what we will do? We will multiply this with 4 and subtract the second equation from the first. So, this will become 8 V1 minus 5 V2 equals to minus 60 and this will become 8 V1 minus 12 V2 equals to minus 144. This is minus, this is plus, this is plus. So, this becomes 7 V2 equals to, this is 84. That implies V2 is equal to 84 by 7, which is 12 volts. So the variable cancellation method we have used to calculate V2. So, we have finally found V2. So, from V2, we will calculate V1 using either one of the these two equations. So, let us use this equation 8 V1 minus 5 V2 equals to minus 60. So, 8 V1 minus 5 into 12 is equal to minus 60. But here, 8 V1, this is minus 60 equals to minus 60. This is getting cancelled that implies V1 is equal to 0 volt. V1 is equal to 0 volt. So, V1 is 0 volt, it means I1 and I2 will be 0. Okay, I1 and I2 will be 0 as voltage at node 1 is equal to 0 volt that implies I1 which is V1 by 10 that will be 0 ampere and I2 which is V1 by 5 that will also be 0 ampere. That means power absorbed by the 10 ohm resistor and power absorbed by the 5 ohm resistor that will be 0 watts. Now I3 is V1 minus V2 by 2. I3 is V1 minus V2 by 2. V1 is 0, V2 is 12. So, it is, uh, it is coming minus 6 ampere. 
So what it means minus 6 ampere is I have always said when current sign comes negative it means that the magnitude is right the problem is with the direction. So what is the correct thing is the direction which we have assumed which is this it is wrong the actual direction of I3 is this I3 like this which is the actual thing this is the assumed one which is wrong this is the actual okay so whenever you you have you solve a particular circuit and the current value comes negative or the voltage value comes negative it means that the polarity or the direction which we have assumed it is the opposite to that so the actual current flow direction is this i3 is flowing in this direction okay like this i3 Okay, so I3 is 6 ampere, we will consider it 6 ampere because we have changed the direction. So I3 is 6 ampere, then I4 is V2 by 4 which is 12 by 4 which is equal to 3 ampere. I4 is equal to V2 by 4 or 12 by 4 which is 3 ampere. So we have got all the current values I4 I3 then here I1 and I2 okay now we have to find out the power supplied and absorbed by the various circuit elements so 10 ohm 5 ohm 0 watt we have already determined that then we have is this the uh, 6 ampere current source okay the 6 ampere current source so here you see that this 6 ampere current source it is in between nodes V1 and V2 V2 which is 12 volt V1 which is 0 volt so here this is positive this is negative and this is 2 ampere okay this is uh, sorry this is 6 ampere okay 6 ampere current is flowing in this way away from the positive towards the negative like this so the this 6 ampere current source it is supplying power it is supplying power I always said that whenever current flows away from the positive towards the negative it is supplying it is positive and that means the power is simply the product of the voltage across the current source multiplied with the value of the current which is flowing that is 12 into 6 which is equal to plus 72 watts that is the power supplied by the 6 ampere current source then we have the 2 ohm resistor so the 2 ohm resistor current flowing is 6 ampere so here also current always flows in this way through a resistor that is this uh, current value is 6 ampere flowing through this 2 ohm resistor it will be like this it will always be negative because resistor always absorbs power and that value is equal to I square R Two, which is equal to 36 into 2 which is again that is equal to 72 watts minus 72 watts here then we have the 4 ohm resistor again here current is flowing positive to negative internally so that will also absorb power it means it is negative I4 is equal to 3 ampere isn't it and this 
power absorbed which is equal to negative which is equal to 3 square i square into r is equal to minus 36 watts then we have is the 3 ampere current source so the voltage across 3 ampere is so the voltage across 3 ampere is v2 on one side and ground so it is v2 so it is Three ampere voltage source. Here it is ground. Here it is V2. So the voltage across it is V2 with this polarity. Current flowing is three ampere. So it is flowing away from the positive towards the negative. So it is supplying power. Supplying power means it is positive, positive sign. So the power supplied by the 3 ampere current source is simply the product of voltage and current that is V2 into 3 which is V2 is calculated 12 into 3 which is equal to plus 36 watts. Okay, so now we have got all the power uh, values associated with each of the circuit elements magnitude and sign. So the total summation of power starting with this. 10 ohm 5 ohm that is 0 watt okay 0 watt plus 0 watt then we have is the 6 ampere current source okay the 6 ampere current source that is plus 72 watt then we have the 2 ohm resistor that is minus 72 watt then we have is the 4 ohm resistor okay this 4 ohm resistor which we calculated as minus 36 watt here and then the final 3 ampere current source which we calculated here which is supplying power plus 36 watt so here as you see 72 minus 72 it is cancelling each other minus 36 36 that is also cancelling the total net power is 0 watt here for this circuit so here the net power the summation of the po total power absorbed supplied by the various circuit elements for this closed circuit it is 0 watt so intelligence theorem is verified okay